So this is your first ever acting gig? It is. Um, yeah, I've done. I've been a presenter for the last three years of uh, my own cooking show. But yeah, acting's a very, very different kind of a gig and I've had lots of sort of smaller acting jobs, smaller, um, but this is my first sort of serious role, I suppose. How are you finding it? I am loving it. I'm in my element. I get to make a total dick of myself. Can I say that word? <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I've always harboured a secret fantasy to be a bit of a, you know, doofus on the screen. So um, this is this is um, I'm I'm pretty stoked, pretty damn stoked. That's lovely. So now, when you so you obviously sort of shot to let's say stardom because that's what they say um, during MasterChef. Did you? I mean, was this the kind of thing you were anticipating after MasterChef? Or? No, um, you know, I'm always the sort of person that that uh, pretends that they will get nothing out of something. So if anything does happen, it's just wicked. Um, so I'm always just open to whatever might happen. If it doesn't, you know, I'm not disappointed. I'm still grateful. Um, so yeah, no, never in my wildest dreams did I think I would find myself here being in an awesome comedy. Brilliant. Now tell me, you you got quite a lot of ideas up in the writing process. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, during the writing process, um, yeah, I was, um, sorry, he's so unprofessional. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, Peter and Phil, I was really lucky. They were extremely generous, even though obviously I'm a complete novice in this. Um, but they invited me into the writing process in the early stages so that um, I could, you know, put my two cents worth in, uh, which turned out to be the golden shower and the issue of yellow fever. <laughs> why? How? Well, I don't know why, but the picture of a window cleaner getting irate um, and weeing on the windshield and some of the wee bouncing on my face because the window was opened or something like that just came to me immediately. I'm not kidding. This is how sick my mind is. Because um, I love thinking up comedic situations in life. Um, and so I, just, I was just like, hey, how about that? And they're like, there's a bit of a moment of silence. And they're like, oh, sure, if you want to go there. <laughs> so that's how that moment came about. And then um, the the whole yellow fever thing is it's just this cultural phenomenon where um, Caucasian guys uh, sort of only exclusively date Asian girls or have a tendency to only date Asian girls and there's nothing actually wrong with it really but there is still something a little bit creepy so um, and uh, yeah so I just thought you know I could bring a little bit of that personal experience in there as only a fellow yellow could <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> have you any weird dating experiences? Have you, have you, um, any come to mind? No, do you know what? I've actually, I've, I've not, I was married for many years, so um, my dating experience is quite limited. Um, and I can't, I can't recall any right now that have been super weird. Um, Although that whole thing of yellow fever is, is always weird when you do find out that there's a bit of a history and you're kind of like, it's like, I don't know, it's weird. Like I feel like an Alsatian or a like schnauzer or something. It's like a species of thing that you, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> um, it's I hard to explain. Of, no, I can sort of get it because it's, it feels like a person's not really into you, they're into yeah, type, so yeah. Like but I guess, do you know what? There is actually nothing wrong with it, really. Because if you think about it, people are always attracted to certain phenotypes. You know, some people are into blonde, some people are into brunette, some people are into really long legs, some people are into big boobs. So it's just like, well, you know, Asian is just, you know, another thing. So it's, it's not actually that wrong. But um, I always find it really... Okay, and what about when you were dating or when you, when you have been on dates? Yeah. Um, do you have any rituals? Ah, um, no, but I'm very quick to judge. I don't, I don't really like sports cars. 
Um, they always make me feel weird when a guy picks up in a sports car. I don't like guys that like flashy things. And I hate it when they say things like, oh yeah, have you been to um, such and such a place? Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, I'll have to take you there, yeah. And I, I hate that. You know when they're all schmoozy and pretending to be rich and shit? <laughs> yeah. And what about, you know, now since, because this experience when suddenly you're known for cooking? Yeah. And then, does it make, does it make people struggle to take you out on a food related date? Oh, oh, I'm very taken. So no, I'm, I'm not currently dating, but um, I have a lot of people who really, um, yeah, they, they really hesitate to invite me over for dinner. So yeah, they do, they always go, oh, I'm so, I don't know, oh, yuck, I don't want you for dinner. But I eat everything. I'm a, I'm a complete non-food snob. I'll eat anything that's been put in front of me because that's the way I was raised. Yeah, Dave already mentioned that. No, I'm joking. Did he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, and my last question is, what euphemisms for condoms did you have growing up? And are there any, you know, condoms. Um, uh, are there any sort of race specific words for, for condoms that we may not have heard of? Condoms? No, I don't think so. Um, Franger, uh, no, what other ones are there? Dinger. Ding I've never heard of Dinger. Frenchies, French letters. Really? No, Frank is the only one that I know. This relates to another script. If a girlfriend of yours went out on a date and she came back and said, oh my God, he had rape eyes. What do you think rape eyes would look like? <laughs> That's hilarious. Rape eyes. Um, I, I don't know. Um, for me, I would interpret I would interpret rape eyes as, um, this is another pet peeve I have, when guys think that looking at you really intensely is really sexy, you know, like just giving you a good eye route the entire duration of the date, seeing when you're going to fold and just rip your undies off, you know, like that. It's kind of rape eyes, isn't it? Looking up and down a little bit, yeah? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what rape eyes is. <laughs>